welcome back. When planning a vacation, the first step is figuring out how you're going to get there. Both flying and driving has its pros and cons, but what's the cheapest route? Flying local, driving, or driving to nearby cities? Well, KX's Sarah Wilson found the answer. Imagine you've been planning to head to Disney with the family for months or that overdue girl's trip to Vegas, but you want to find ways to save your money. It's the end of March and flights are off the charts flying out of College Station. Some prices starting at $734 just for a round trip on top of having to get a connecting flight in Dallas. With gas prices impacting the cost of flights, it's rerouted many travelers. Some people prefer to just hop in their car and take that drive just so they can save some money. Ebony Watson lives in Bryan. She tells me she travels often and took a 13 hour road trip to Tennessee from Houston and agrees driving is best. It was cheaper to drive to Tennessee than taking time one day and Saving her almost $200 in gas compared to taking to the skies. Now let's say you decide to hit the road from Houston. Finding out you'll actually save around $250 with that option even with the increase in price of fuel. Good influence for people, uh, you know, to drive, especially airfares, you know, and there's limited capacity on flights. Um, not only that, I think a lot of Americans, especially with families, will probably find it a little bit cheaper in those short and near distant places right. instead of flying. But when it comes to flying, there's a lot more to it than just the price of that ticket. Now, when flying from Houston, the southeast region, to Las Vegas, a southwestern region, prices range from $350 all the way to $750, just for a round trip flying with Southwest. Now, let's change your flight time to three months out to June. Prices drop by $500. And if you're flying from Houston to Orlando, keeping that three months out in mind, airfare is now $220 to $565 per person. Now let's switch from Southwest Airlines to Spirit, a low cost airline. The added fees for baggage will have you paying close to the same price for flying with Southwest, but you get two free bags with their airline. So folks, if you're gonna fly, travel experts say it's best to book two to three months out for a lower price. Also, choosing to view that low fare calendar will show you just why booking three months out will save you money on that girl's trip. And when it comes to driving, you may want to consider a staycation. And there's a lot of places that the Brazos Valley can offer up for a good time for people of all ages. Sarah Wilson, KX News.